Now to the oil spill off the coast of Orange County. 1,500 workers joined the cleanup efforts today. Federal investigators say the oil rig operators waited over three hours to shut down the ruptured pipeline Saturday, even after receiving an alarm. A ship's anchor may have hooked the pipeline and caused more than 126,000 gallons of oil to leak into the ocean. As for the affected wildlife, today authorities said they rescued at least 13 birds and collected two that died. They also discussed the recovery process for marine animals. We currently have two facilities on standby in case marine mammals are found. Pacific Marine Mammal Center in Laguna Beach and SeaWorld San Diego. Um, if animals are collected, the same process would occur. They would go there, be stabilized, moved on to primary care, cared for, returned back to normal, and then returned back to the environment. At least 5,000 gallons of oil was recovered so far, and some additional oil that washed ashore was also recovered. And oil from that spill is starting to move south. It could reach our county. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez is joining us now live from Oceanside Harbor with the possible impact of this. Yeah, we are learning from the U.S. Coast Guard in Orange County that as of 2 p.m. this afternoon, no oil has entered into San Diego County. However, local officials, they say that they're still being cautious, working to find solutions to make sure that oil does not harm our beaches. I'm, I'm hoping that it will not be really like spread all over the beaches here so that it will not affect the people around here, the environment. Beachgoers enjoying the sun and sand, knowing just a few miles north lies thousands of miles of spilled oil. We know that having oil spill onto our coasts will cause mass destruction. Encinitas Mayor Catherine Blakespear says Wednesday she heard of oil spottings already along our coast. It is inevitable that some will hit this county, and I've already heard that there is what's called sheening in the Oceanside Harbor. Um, I think the question is how much and how quickly does it get here? According to Surfrider's CEO, it could still be a few more days before we see it this far south. There's still reason to keep an eye out and, uh, you know, there's reason for concern. The U.S. Coast Guard said in their Wednesday update that so far no oil has crossed county lines, but they are anticipating southward and inland movement. Director of San Diego County's Emergency Services releasing this statement, saying a protective boom at the mouth of Santa Margarita River is already in play. Local leaders worried if oil does force closures, the impact it would have to those that depend on beach foot traffic. Our clean beaches, clean oceans, um, a clean food supply, all of that is really critical for us, and the businesses and the business community depends upon that. Now, the mayor of Encinitas tells me that she believes these spills are inevitable when we continue to drill for oil. She hopes that this is the example that's needed for legislative action to hinder any new offshore drilling off of our shores. Now, the Carlsbad desalination plan tells us that so far they have not seen any contamination in their water, but they're continuing to monitor the situation. In Oceanside, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Sophia.